Hey, what's up everybody? This is Stu Fuchs. Hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Just wanted to make a quick video announcement about some Rockabilly for Ukulele workshops that I'm offering in Eugene, Oregon and also Ann Arbor, Michigan. Each workshop will be followed by a short concert by myself. At the end of this video, there'll be a short lesson in a rock and roll riff from Little Richard that you can put into your playing right away. Links in the video description below where you can buy tickets, uh, reserve your seat, and get some more details about this workshop. So Rockabilly for Uke, or Ukabilly as I've been calling it, is open to everyone, all levels. Uh, you know, if you know three chords and you can strum them, you'll be just fine to play rock and roll, trust me. What we do in this workshop is we play lots of really fun songs from Chuck Berry, Little Richard, The Beatles, Eddie Cochran, uh, Carl Perkins, and others. And what we do is uh, I show you some specific grooves and strum patterns that work great with rockabilly and rock and roll styles. I'll also show you how to add boogie woogie bass lines to the chords in a number of different keys as well. So you can use them with lots of different key centers. You'll also learn how to play boogie woogie lines as single note exercises. So they become a great springboard for being a lead player eventually. What we'll also do is we're going to cover a little bit of Travis style, some of the finger picking styles. Scotty Moore, who was uh, Elvis Presley's original lead guitarist, he used a lot of Travis finger picking. Great country style and it's easier than you think. And finally what we'll do is I'm going to show you a little bit of how to solo using double stops. This is the, I like to call the Chuck Berry style of lead soloing. And what you do is you use two notes at once to play all kinds of ripping leads and you'll be playing lead lines quicker than you think. So I hope that you'll join me if you're going to be in Eugene, Oregon on April 1st or in Ann Arbor, Michigan on Saturday the 21st of May. There are descriptions in the video link below. Hope to see you there. It's very cold outside today so let's go inside and I'm going to show you a really fun and easy to play riff from Little Richard. All right, so the riff I wanted to show you is from Little Richard, Good Golly Miss Molly. Go listen to the original recording. You'll notice that before the singing starts, there's an electric guitar riff that plays a really cool boogie-woogie rock and roll riff. That's what we're going to be playing. It's a single note riff, so we're going to pick it with our thumb. Going to get our fingers really flexible. Before I break it down, let me play it for you once. One, two, one, two, three, four. Really, really fun riff. You can play it throughout the song. You can play it in all kinds of other songs that are in the key of G. The song is this, G7. Good golly, Miss Molly. You show sure like the ball. Goes to C7. Good golly, Miss Molly. You show sure like the ball. When you're rocking and rolling. Back to C7. You can't hear your mama call. So it's G7, C7, and D7. And that's being played in a 12-bar blues quick four format. This is just a quick little uh, lesson tidbit for you. Let me break down the riff. First of all, let me say there's a free tablature of this on my website. There's a link in the video description below. It's on the right-hand side of my store where it says free tabs and goodies. Here's my recommendations for playing this. First of all, you can do this with a high G string ukulele just fine. I like the way that sounds too. I just happen to have my low G with me. So what you do is, uh, you know, to start, it's a good idea to have the first finger down for the G7 riff. And I'm leaving it down, so after I pick those first notes, you see my finger's already on the note I need. All right, so. riff. You do that four times and then look the next riff C7 starts on the open C string and my first finger floats over the third fret and then it moves to the next string back to the G now 
the D7, what you're going to do is you're going to start on the same note, but if you move to the middle finger, it'll be a lot easier to play. Because what you're going to do is you're going to play that note twice, and then the first finger moves there. Then the open string. All right. If you didn't move the middle finger there, you'd have a little extra motion. And it's just a little easier to start here, so then your fingers kind of zigzag across the strings. You only play that once and then you go right back to C, open string, and then open string G. Here it is from the D7 again. Good golly, Miss Molly! All right, this video is getting a little long. Hope to see you at the workshop. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Would love to stay in touch with you with more lessons and more goodies. Have a beautiful day, and I hope the ukuleles made your day great today. Thanks.